Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Summer and in today's video, I'm showing you how to use iOS 14 in order to customize all your apps to make your home screen really aesthetic or just your favorite vibe. So, this is basically a tutorial and also showing you like what I did and how I did it. So, without further ado, let's get into today's video. So first things first, you're going to download iOS 14, pretty self-explanatory, but it did take a long time. So all you do is go into settings, general, and then software update and let it go. I did mine overnight, which is really helpful. So it doesn't take a lot of your day. That's like the easiest step. So after downloading iOS 14, you're going to want to pick your vibe for your home screen and lock screen, etc. I ended up with a light pink theme with like positivity um, widgets going throughout it. And also the light pink matches my rose gold phone and pink case. So in order to find images, I think Pinterest is such a good place to look because there's a lot of boards with like things that are aesthetic and just like together in one grouping. For example, I looked up pink aesthetic or like light pink aesthetic, light pink images, all on Pinterest. Another thing that you can look up is like rich vibe and that's a lot of like the New York, like lavish lifestyle with like diamonds. And just another example is like neon signs. So you can just look up like neon vibe or neon signs. That's it for that. So after you've chosen your aesthetic, onto the third step is using the app. So I use three apps. One, Shortcuts comes with Apple. Two, Widget Smith. And three, Color Widgets. So first starting with Shortcuts, that's the app that lets you change the cover of any app. For my tutorial, you're gonna go into Shortcuts and press the plus button in the top right corner. I do have an iPhone 8, so it can be a little bit different on the X, but like still basically the same. And then you're gonna press Add Action. So you're gonna type in the search bar, Open App and choose that option as it comes up and then choose whatever app you want to open. Say we're going to open App Store. Then in the three dots on the top right corner, you're going to press Add to Home Screen. And this is what's going to take the picture you choose linked to the actual app, App Store. And in this step, you just literally choose your image. So say I'm using this pink pretty water and I name my shortcut App Store. Sorry I'm looking down as I do this. This video is kind of a wreck, but I want to get it up and hop on the trend. So then as you choose the App Store one, you literally press Add and it will say Added to Home Screen. Then you can go back to your home screen and literally see it there and rearrange it wherever you like. So that is really easy and really fast and I mean, it's just so pleasing. Okay, next one I'm going to show you is how to do this header. Mine says the date and the time. This is using the app Color Widgets. Basically, all Color Widgets does is give you these headers with dates, times, and calendar days. That's pretty much it. So as you go into the app, you're going to see a lot of different options and just scroll till you honestly see one you like. So let's just pick a black and white one. So then you say edit widget and you can go in and choose a small, medium, or large widget and change all of the colors. The best thing about iOS 14 is it's just so customizable and all these apps just like enhance its features. So the next app I used was Widget Smith and this is how I got like pictures in the app shape on my background. So first I have nothing's about you as a mistake, then I have a reminder you're gonna be all right, and then I actually have one linked to the health app and just two more pictures on the last page. So how you do that is download the app Widget Smith. Then you're gonna choose what size you'd like. So say I wanna add another small widget. That takes up the space of four apps. I literally press add small widget, press where it added, and I can edit so many things. So a lot of them are related to the date and time, but I actually really like the images. So two things you can do is one, put one plain image or actually create your own album and it will scroll and switch through the albums. But for now, I'm just gonna show you a photo. Then I literally click photo and then select photo. Then choose any photo from your photo album. And this one says, know your worth, then add tax. Which again, just like a really like positive reminder. After you have made your widget in the Widget Smith app, you have to add it to your home screen by pressing the plus button in the top right hand corner. Then scroll all the way down to the bottom to where it says Widget Smith. Press and add whichever size you like. Again, they're small, medium, and large, but I just created a small one, so I'm gonna press add small. Then it's already into your home screen, and what you're gonna do next is hard press and say edit widget. Then when it opens up, you literally just go in and choose whichever widget it was. So when it comes out, it literally shows, and it is like a little bit time consuming to like go through the whole process, but now I'm just gonna show you what I did for mine and like specifically how I found images and how I organized it. Um, and for my theme, again, I went with light pink. So how I found a lot of them was looking up on Pinterest, like I said, is so helpful. Um, just like pink aesthetic vibe, anything like that. And then say I wanted to look up the phone when I have literally a pink phone. I literally would look up 
pink aesthetic phone so on my home screen I basically have like the necessity apps for the next page I do have two widgets the top one is a medium widget and the other one is a small widget and these are like all my other apps that are like important and I use daily so on the top I have Life 360 which I'm always like looking where my mom and my brother are my of course coffee apps and visco and Spotify along the bottom this is obviously my most used apps I do have from left to right texting TikTok, Instagram and snapchat then on the last page I also also have things that I use a lot and plus a little bit of vibes so first I have A's before B's and that's like next to all of my school stuff so I have the sheets and docs app used for like editing projects or papers then calculator and mail which I literally only use for school and underneath I have the bad vibes get off me which is personally my favorite widget because it's so cute and then I also have Venmo and Etsy um just two things I really need for my business actually about my business I am wearing my own jewelry right now here's my Instagram and I'm working on putting up an Etsy shop right now so I have these earrings which haven't dropped yet but they're really cute huggies which are so in with a cheetah pom-pom perfect for fall then I have this new necklace on a gold beaded chain um, with three pearls in the front and a really cute mother of pearl letter on another gold beaded chain so that is pretty much it for me showing you guys how to use iOS 14 and make your home screens I know that it's like hugely trending on TikTok, so I really hope this is actually helpful I just want to say I know it was like pretty disorganized my usual videos are way better planned out but I was like in a rush to just get it up and post last thing is follow me on all my socials keep up with me there and and do be sure to check out my jewelry company as I was talking about before. Ugh, that was so much talking in such a short amount of time.